Blast imminent. Three, two, one. Yeah! In Thunder Bay, Ontario, on the edge of Lake Superior, budget demolition has taken on the monstrous task of demolishing the decommissioned Thunder Bay Generating Station. In Episode 1, the team began the necessary prep work needed before the explosives could be placed on the 650-foot stack. Now the team is just two days away from lowering the highest peak in all of Thunder Bay. So we've been super busy just with the stack, the, the cutting of it, the engineering that went in with it with DST and ASI, and now Rakowski's on site setting their charges. And then this our crew getting it all prepped, ready for blast day, just clearing everything around it so everything's nice and clean. A perfect day for a perfect drop. Rarely in demolitions will you use explosive cutting tape. The product's been around on the market for a while, but it's a high-end product. The main benefit of explosive cutting tape is that it's very flexible compared to normal cutting charges. As we blast the face, we also have to cut the steel flues. So that explosive cutting tape makes it much easier for us to match the radius of the steel liners or the flues. It's a chevron pattern of high explosives and then there is a, a, a copper style liner. When that explosive goes off, that chevron closes and is pushed and forced through at a very high speed and high temperature, cutting the steel uh, as it goes or whatever you put in front of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the stack. It's the first explosion that I'm seeing happening. I think it's really good for the team too, right? It brings everybody together, everybody has a good time. Everybody goes home safe at the end of the day and that's it. Yeah, so everyone's pumped about the blast and ready to go and more and more people come in, visitors from Hamilton and Manitoba and Saskatchewan, but we're really staying on our safety aspect of it and got to keep on top of that because nothing's more important than safety. Safety has to be number one. My name is Josh Rodesant. I'm the health and safety manager here at Budget Demolition on site in Thunder Bay. Yeah, obviously the blast on site, that's fun. I mean, everyone loves a blast and demolition, but yeah, of course, we got to think about how to do it safely. When we do a job like this, we're not just concerned about the safety of our guys. Obviously, that's of paramount importance. But so is the public. So is the ecosystem and the wildlife here. It's a beautiful area here. And it's important for us that we keep it that way. The work that we do, we got to make sure that it stays clean, safe, and, and just a great environment still. So as much as tomorrow's a big deal, and we're all very excited about it, it's another day that we are committed to keeping everyone safe. With safety being the top priority, budget demolition will proceed with installing the last of the explosives. This includes the standard charges on the concrete face, the cutting tape on the steel flues, and one more new product. Another new product we're using now is uh, basically a, a water kick charge. So uh, the water yeah, acts as a much better pusher when it comes to uh, pushing the plates out of the way rather than just straight explosives. Just a microsecond, milliseconds delay after the cutting charge goes off. And once the cutting charge goes off, you can think of this as a, as a sledgehammer, but it's just water. And the nice thing with that is it creates no shrapnel uh, effect whatsoever. It dissipates very quickly. It actually helps a bit with retarding the flames that are caused by the explosive cutting tape, and it's a very safe charge. What you're trying to do is just simply kick it out of alignment once it's been severed. Budget's been doing a fantastic job uh, prepping this for us. Uh, everything is excellent. We've had a few things come up well on job site um, that nobody could have foreseen, and we've managed to roll with those punches very easily, and the crew's pretty talented. So they're almost done, and then we'll head inside and start uh, putting in uh, the last bit of our explosives. With all the explosives in, the stack is ready to blow. The team will be back early in the morning, prepared to forever change the Thunder Bay skyline. Demolition coordinator, demolition coordinator. This is 
uh, Coast Guard 1, Jordan, and Coast Guard 2, Ryan. Uh, we are in approximate position for uh, standing by. Over. Loud and clear. Checkpoint 4 is in position. Five minute warning. Five minute warning. Sound three loud blast for five minute warning. What's the next one? One minute. One minute warning. One minute warning. One long blast to sound for one minute warning. Last imminent in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. It's going. Watch for fly. Watch for fly. Yeah! <laughs> Unreal! All stations, stand by, stand by. You killed it. Very right good. Thank you. The success is laying on the ground, so that's good. Um, more importantly, that we had a lot of new uh, products in this, in this stack. The ECT, the water charges. So the big thing to do here was to come and make sure all that was executed the way it was supposed to. It was. After the blast, we went in and observed, uh, and it performed exactly what we want. So overall, it was a success. All my guys are really professional, many, many years of experience, so uh, the, the team I have really makes it easy to do these kinds of projects. Yeah, budget, very professional crew. Um, they execute the plan very well. The level of planning is the biggest thing on projects like this, and uh, they're right up there with it. Just as planned, uh, can't be any happier with the guys, our subs. One of the best things when you let something off like that and all the hard work went into it, and it falls just as, just as planned. So the guys are coming over shortly to start working on it, and uh, it'll be cleaned up in a week or two. So then it's on to the precepts. You know, we couldn't do what we're doing here if we didn't have the guys that were here. Demo gets in your blood and you can't get it out, but these guys are leaving their families for two weeks at a time and coming up here and, and working because they love to work for this company and they love their job. I am amazed at where we've come. But the funny thing is, is when you have a dream, you always imagine that you can do it. I think that's where we are today. Yeah, it went great today. Very happy with, with the team that we had on site and our, and our guys, the, the, the people that we've uh, got on this project, they're doing an awesome job. The safety of our crew is, is vital and it also is very important for the people that we're doing the projects for. They don't want any liabilities so when they hire us they know that we're doing it safely and doing it right the first time. Oh it's, it's amazing, it's, it's just amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's been a real uh, nice uh, opportunity to be here and see this happen. But this is the biggest project that uh, I think we've undertaken so far and it's been fun. <laughs> It's really been fun. Just six months after beginning their preparation, budget demolition has forever altered the skyline of Thunder Bay. However, even though they've overcome a major milestone, 
there is still lots of work ahead. In Episode 3, they will continue the prep work on the main building, preparing to blast the precepts in just a few months.